Hello, I'm Claudia Skill, a cartonage designer and teacher from Colorway Arts. I really love having fun with paper, fabric and glue and make, you know, unique fabric boxes, cases and lots of other projects. I'm also the author of the book Cartonage Basics and Beyond. Today in this video I'm inviting you to have fun with me. I'm not starting from my, you know, do-it-yourself kits or from um, a thick cardboard as usually I do, but well, I was visiting IKEA some time ago and I had one idea because some time ago one of my students asked me how she could, you know, cover a magazine holder with fabric. Well, I just explained to her at that time, but when I saw this product right here, there, on <laughs> IKEA, this is a, you know, a set with two white paper magazine holders. So I got an idea. Well, how fun will be covering this with fabric, right? So that's that's my idea for this video. I'm gonna be having fun here making this project and I hope you like, I hope you have fun and make for yourself, for your friends. This piece is very functional and I even <laughs> decided to, you know, have more fun. This one here I made out of one table towel I found also at IKEA and then when I was you know walking around I saw other things that could be maybe interesting uh, when I'm working with cartonage you know we use a lot of glue and then kind of my scissors always get full of glue and then I don't like to use expensive scissors so I found this set of two um, set of two scissors that I really like. So I just decided to have fun in this video and I really hope you like it. Let's see the simple materials we need. I use for this video the IKEA magazine holder. It's a product called Tijena. It com comes in a set of two. You may have another similar product. We also need poster board, grab your scissor, rotary cutter, cutting board, ruler, a craft knife or other paper cutting tool and your favorite fabric. We're gonna be using glue all from Elmer's, it's a white PVA glue. Grab also paint roller, paintbrush and tray or plate. Masking tape is very important. Scrub paper to protect the table and a piece of cloth to clean your hands. We're gonna be using the corner miter tool, but it's optional. If you want to see, it's available in my shop, colorwayarts.etsy.com. Okay, then let's get started. First thing, we're going to start covering the inside of this uh, magazine holder, okay? The way it is, is like it's supposed to be, it came already like kind of ready to go in this position. You just, the original idea is, you know, you have to fold here on the bottom, okay? There are some numbers, so it's number one, then number two, and then last number three, okay? So we're going to have this situation here. But as I want to cover inside with fabric first, um, well, if you don't want to cover inside, that's okay. It can be like this with paper, but I think it's going to be beautiful, you know, more beautiful if we cover with uh, fabric inside. So what I have to do, first of all, is kind of unglue here. So here, right here on the front, we have that um, that part and just be careful, I want that inside part to be, just go a little careful, I want to have that part here that is, you know, connected to the side of the, the part, okay, so that's what I want to start with, okay, so this is my inside, okay, here are the parts that I um, fold, so cut your piece of fabric that will be you know, a little bigger than this, okay? So I'm gonna be using this one right here. It has a few, you know, points here that I have to align. Well, that must to be a little bigger around, right here, can be kind of three fourths, uh, three quarters bigger here. Uh, I recommend you to cut kind of a rectangle right now because sometimes if we cut this, 
you know the shape when you glue it's not really in the right position so I do recommend cutting like that and we don't need to cover all this part right here on the bottom it's just a little it can be like half an inch is okay um, three quarters also a good idea you know something like that okay so we're gonna start uh, applying glue I don't, this piece is kind of too big, so I don't like to apply glue all over, right, you know, uh, in the beginning. I'm gonna start applying glue right here, only in the uh, middle, okay, because I want to align. My fabric has this design that I have to align. Well, the original thing has this, you know, this uh, hole right here. If you want to keep it, you know, I have a, another video where I did a frame and then I recommend you to go there and watch and see how we're gonna be doing this. It's pretty simple, okay? But I don't like this because, you know, I like to use with the shorter part on the front. So I will be just covering, you know, it's just like if I don't have it, okay? Good, so to start we need glue in the tray, on our tray, right? And then just roll the roller a little bit. Okay, and then I will apply glue right here. A little bit on the sides as well, but well, mainly I'm gonna start with the this uh, central part. Okay, so go ahead and go a little bit here on this part. And I'm going a little on the sides just to make sure. Okay, so it's a thin layer of glue, okay, as we always do in our cartonage brushes. Again, I'm doing that to the front, to the inside of the holder, okay, so that's the position, let me check. Okay, I'm in the middle of my fabric, okay, and that's what I want there. Okay, so I'm gonna be pressing over, and then I go with my hands here inside Okay, and I will press to make sure it's all good. Press also here on this side, on the middle. Okay. And then I will go to the side. So I notice here that it's not very well glue, unfortunately. We are in the winter, here it's very dry. So sometimes the glue quick, you know, dries very quick. So I go a little bit more here. That's easy to, to solve. Okay. And then just go and apply glue to the other side here, all the way. I want to cover also this uh, small part here. Over. And then, okay. Okay. then I have to go to the other side, right? Okay, let me see, let me check. It's how good there. Good. So I'm See, I think I go all the way there. Okay. Make sure you have glue all over. Okay. And then there. Okay. You know, I have a, a do it yourself kit that is a desk organizer. It's uh, kind of the same shape just a little different but we do we start out from the uh, pieces of cardboard you know and then we build so maybe the finishing of this piece here will not be you know as good as when we start from do it yourself kit that is you know our pieces but I think it's good enough right okay so it's 
I'll glue there in the inside, okay? And now I have to trim around. So you can use your um, rotary cutter if you have, or if you don't have, just use a scissor, okay? But yeah, now you can keep like go and cut like this, or use a ruler to help you, okay? Whatever you want. Follow the shape here of the of the piece, okay? And then let me see here on the sides. You see here also I'm gonna be cutting on the sides and the other one as well. Okay. And go with your scissor and cut kind of all the way there. Okay, so all the way there. I just want to do. Don't need to be perfect. Okay, we're gonna be covering that. And here as well, I kind of go and do this. Very good. So here, where we have those kinds of sides right here, you know. We have to also go with your scissor and just do a, a small, you know, uh, clip there. Let me see. Okay, hey, so when is in this uh, tube for the outside, I don't need, but when, like here, I will need again another clip. And right here, where I have square corners. So you can just go with your scissor and just cut there, or you can use one of the tools that I have. If you don't know, I have a corner miter tool that can just put right here and then use my cutter, okay, and cut like this. That's what I need, okay? Um, or I also have, I forgot about my new tool. This is the two, new two-in-one trim, um, in my other tool, so you can also go there, put right there on the corner, and then just do this. And at the same time, if you want, you can go. I already did without that, okay. But if you want to use a round and trim, you can also use that. I'm gonna be using later. Okay, so now we just need to go all around, okay, and glue this part there. So let me pick a little bit of my white thing so I don't mess okay then you just go and spread that glue okay go all the way there and then i would like to use my i use one uh, spatula like this just do press here and here as well here just press there Okay, then go on the other side, and then this is, put it right there. Again, this is one shape that I have in some of my do-it-yourself kits, like my treasure box, my do, uh, desk organizer. So it's the way I do this kind of cover, okay? So you just go and press like this, okay? Press like this, so I'm doing that right there. Here you press. So every time you have one corner, you go with glue, like here on the paper, okay? And then spread that glue, then you go here and there, over that corner. So press here, clean. Remember to always have a piece of cloth to clean your spatula. Okay, so here it's kind of too big, this fabric. Let me just organize here. Yeah, that's much better and then you press there as well okay and then you go there remember here we already trim okay and then I like to spread glue there as well and then you come here there and then we are almost to the end remember to have good corners I have some videos if you if you are new here I have some videos showing very well how to do corners you know have good corners and so take a look at my channel you will see 
other interesting videos. Okay, so here I have too much fabric. Let me cut a little bit here. Okay, I will do with scissors just like that. And then go all the way there. And press and press and there. Okay, so here the way I like to do it's kind of just just apply glue and just gluing here on this side so it's not you know bothering me on the other side just to be more if you have too much glue you can just cut you know you not see this because we definitely will cover this part okay and here as well So this is the piece that is now covered in fabric inside, right? So now next we need to fix, you know, to close and build actually this. Remember we remove that part, okay, from the inside of here, okay? And you have to glue this again, right? So let's put glue in this part there, okay? And then spread with your your brush and then just build again okay so I like to put some pieces of masking tape right here I also gonna be putting some masking tape inside here so open like this and then you put right there on you have that you know that join part okay so I have a little bit of masking tape inside not sure if you can see but that is the way it is and then I have there as well okay so now we have to you know to build that okay and um, we have some, hold on, uh, we have some numbers on the bottom, okay? So number one is the one that goes, you fold first, and then number two and number two, and then the last one is number three, okay? So you go in this order, and you will be able to, there's also instruction, you know, in the, Ikea always comes with instructions, right? So you can follow that instruction, okay? Put a little bit of more masking tape if you feel that you need, okay? But actually, that's the way it is here. And go inside, press, okay? So it's not, not beautiful at all inside, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing now is using a few pieces of uh, poster board and we will be covering uh, some pieces of poster board and then those pieces of poster board covered in fabric will be glued here so for the out inside bottom and for out outside okay so that's our next step okay so now we need poster board okay so we got the first thing we're gonna be doing now is covering here you know right <laughs> in the bottom right there the bottom of my piece okay that's what we need to cover now inside Okay, so for that, I will need a piece of poster board that really, you know, that fits there. Okay, and the most important thing from now to the end is like that. You're gonna be, like in this situation, I would measure right here on the bottom, cut a little small, okay, and then test before cover all pieces with poster board that we need from now to the end. Always make sure your piece fits before covering with fabric, okay? That's just something you know so you're gonna be put you put there you make sure it will fit okay and then you cover with fabric that's how we need to do and then we're gonna be cutting i will cover with the same fabric so we need a piece of fabric that is 
kind of three quarters bigger than this uh, piece. I will not do, you know, give you dimensions for those pieces because, you know, I know they have other sides or you can maybe find a piece like that in another place or you have at home maybe something like this. So I want you to understand the process and then you can apply to the piece you have at home, right? Okay, so I have my piece here. I just I'm gonna apply glue and cover with paper fabric and that is exactly what I do in all you know pieces all my cartonage projects you are maybe used to that if not I have other videos again just take a look at my channel my free online course you can have an idea okay so I'm just be gluing right there in the center I flip over and I go with my hands and I press just to make sure it's well glue okay so here for the outside we need to cut corners because you know we need to fold the sides but we have too much fabric here okay so for that today i'm gonna use my new tool okay you can also use you know the corner tool if you uh, have it if you don't have any of my uh, corner tools that help us to have good corners just go with scissor you know and cut and i'll show you just in a minute so if i use my corner tool like this my metal one i will just cut it like this okay and i go to the other side if i use my trim i can also trim around just if i want to have the same you know if i want to have that even on the sides i don't need to have that for our projects but sometimes it's very nice if you can have this we have less fabric then my, our finishing can be better so okay I put right there on the corner and then I cut right like this and then I go ahead and I cut here and then okay and if you don't have any of the tools okay don't be afraid of doing test just go with your scissor and try try to do as I have here it's a little space in between uh, here from the cardboard to the end of the to the fabric we have that little space try to have kind of 45 degrees that's what you you are looking for now okay yeah so now we have to fold the fabric on the sides and I like to start with the longer like the long side first spread the glue on the corner okay in there and then you go with your spatula press and press here on the sides and then you do repeat for the other side okay apply glue don't forget to apply glue right there on the corner it's very important when we are covering with fabric okay and then press and press again remember your clock and then the last two you go like this okay and then you go to the other side this is poster board okay so uh, sometimes when we do that we have a little extra fabric on the sides just because poster board is really thin so you can just accommodate with like with your fingers or if that's bothering you you just pick one scissor and just look to the front and cut okay that's what i do okay so now i have my piece that is you know all covered that's the basic step in cartonage covering a piece of paper with fabric okay again more videos in my channel and now i will glue this right there on the bottom of inside okay I will glue like like that. Just spread glue all over the okay the back side of this piece. Let me take my paper a little bit more here. Okay, and then I go spread this glue. Okay, make sure you have glue all over this piece right here, and then that goes right inside right on the bottom okay and then you press and you now you will have to put masking tapes i'm not sure if you're gonna be seeing this in the video 
but okay let me show you're gonna be putting masking tape in between you know the sides of the of the piece and the bottom so this piece that you are gluing now is gonna stay there right <laughs> until it's dry and it's well finished so you have to do that out inside sorry guys not a good position for the video but i will show you at the end okay Then I like to pick my piece of claw again and press, press, press. Uh, then here is our cover also inside, right? So if you have something that is small and heavy and you can put here for a while just to make sure it will, you know, glue better, that's a good idea, okay? But if you just go, you know, and press for a little bit, pressing that, that's gonna be all right, okay? Very good. So now we have our piece all covered inside and then it's time to cover outside. Okay, so for the outside, we're gonna also use poster board. We're gonna be covering poster board and then gluing and covering here, okay? So for the sides, my recommendation is you pick a piece of poster board that is big enough, you know, bigger than your piece. And what I do, I put like over, I think that's the easiest way to do. Okay, so I put my piece like this over the poster board and then I go with a pen, a pencil, okay, and I just gonna be tracing, okay, like this, I will be tracing around like this, okay, so, uh, so I will have here, you know, what I need to cover the outside. I would go, uh, you can go with your roller and craft knife or you can cut with scissor. I would recommend you cut like, you can start exactly here or you can already go a little, you know, uh, inside of this line, okay? Because when you pass your pen, so sometimes you do, you know, a little bigger than you need. So, but again, you have to check. So make, cut the first one and then measure, put over, you know, and try. Okay, so I have mine already here, okay? And for this side, so here I have one that I already made. You will, you're gonna need two of them. What I'm saying is try, test, put over, okay? And see if it is okay. Uh, I can see it's mine, it's just a little bigger. Yes, because I made based on the other one, so I have to cut a little bit. Don't worry, if you just go with your scissor, that's fine. That's fine, because, you know, we will be covering this with fabric. Okay, now it's fine. So this is for the side. I need two, one for each uh, side. I will need one piece that you can, like, here is a rectangle, so you can just measure and then cut. So you're gonna need one piece for here, for left, for, okay. Another piece for the bottom, okay, like here, and uh, for the back, sorry, and another piece for the bottom, okay. So that's what we need. Three kind of rectangles, okay, the sides of the front, the back, and the bottom and the two pieces that we will be tracing, okay, and cutting like this, right? Okay, so let's start doing the side pieces first here, okay? So cut your piece of fabric, okay? Again, cut the piece of fabric that is about three quarters bigger on the sides and cut like a rectangle right now, just in the beginning. That's always the way I like to do because we never know if you are going that side or that side. And if you already cut, maybe it's a problem. So we're gonna do uh, this side here, okay? Just apply glue all over as we always do, right? We are covering the outside of this piece. Then now it's kind of the same way we, co we cover our uh, desk organizer, okay? Sometimes I use, this is a big piece, so I prefer to do then all separate, okay? So just 
glue right there. Again, flip over, press with your hand, with your hands. Okay, and then we need to cut the extra. Poster board is always like that. So when we apply glue, it kind of curves a little bit. So if that bothers you, just put under your mat for a little bit, a few seconds, few like one minute is kind of too much and we'll solve. Okay, then just cut here around leaving around three quarters so if you want to go and use this that's perfect because it's three quarters around so okay and let me use i love i really love using it so i know i have always three quarters around okay and when you have uh corners square corners you go and cut with your um your corner okay here here and now so here okay so all all parts there right so now i will be covering the side okay but i will need to cover here first take a look here i will not cover all around as we did for the inside it's only here on the top and then you apply glue there, press here, and press there, okay? And then you go to the other edge, okay? Okay, so in this case, I'm going to start in this project, you know, I'm going to start gluing both sides, and then I will do front, back, and last part will be the bottom, right? So that's only what I need to glue here in this piece because the rest, okay, let's see. I will be gluing this part right here, okay, on the outside of my box. And then this part, this extra fabric that I have will be glued to the front, to the back and to the bottom, okay. And then I will have a good finishing here, right? Okay. So as I said, you can, you know, take a look what I'm doing here and you may have another piece, another project that you can, you know, do following that. So I will flip over my piece of, this is a kind of scrap paper just to be here. Okay, so this is the one I will be gluing right here, right? So I have, I like to have glue on both sides because it's one piece that I may need to move a little bit so if I have glue on both sides that will be bad okay so here you only need to like do something like this it's just a little you don't need to really you know full of glue but here right on the bottom on the back of this one I want you to spread glue all over so if you don't have glue all over, your finishing will not be very good. So just go and spread glue all over. Okay. So here's something you can do is like pick your piece right here and put right over there. So you can know you are kind of aligning them. Okay. To start seeing what you are doing. Okay. And then you go check and if you that's why i like to pass glue on both of them because usually i have to move a little bit the piece so i know okay i can do that okay so once you are happy with the position of your piece okay once you are happy with the position of your piece then you will be gluing here on the sides but most important put masking tape right here okay so put masking tape out here in this part and then we will be gluing the front like this okay just go there and then the bottom and here in the back 
back is already glue very well, I think. No. Okay. So check where we need more glue. Okay. So here I have one of the sides uh, covered in fabric and ready to go, right? So next we're gonna be gluing the other side and then front and then back and then bottom. Okay, so I have here the pieces already, you know, prepared because, you know, just to go ahead with the video. I will repeat here with the other side, okay? So I have the other piece. Just make sure you are gluing um, the right side of your piece, you know why? Because they are, um, they must be opposite, right? So just make sure you are gluing the right, you are gluing the fabric to the right side. That this is, I would say that maybe the most important part when you are covering outside, right? Okay, so just put over there. Okay, so I need a little bit of more glue, as I said, we are in the winter, it's snowing a lot outside and inside the house is too, you know, dry, so the glue really, you know, dry quick. Okay, so now both sides are covered in fabric, right? And then I can put right here the front, okay? So for the front piece, for the front and from the back piece, I need those pieces of poster board that I show you. So you're gonna be actually, uh, so you're gonna be actually measure here on the front, okay? Measure here, cut a piece of poster board. And what I'm gonna be doing with that is make cover as we did for the inside as i showed there cover with fabric and then you fold top and sides okay you keep the bottom unfinished because you're gonna be gluing that under uh, the box and the same thing for the back of the box okay so you cut that piece of poster board glue fabric uh, cut corners okay do uh, fold and glue both sides and top and leave unfinished the bottom okay so that is for the front and also for the back okay so now let me just check it's all right again remember to check before doing the fabric right as we are doing different uh, pieces of fabric if you want to do different like i did um one of my uh, magazine holders is i did different fabric on the on the front uh, that I did on the sides. Okay, it's up to you. Have fun. <laughs> okay, so here just glue match, of course, there on this front, match here. Okay, so once you do that, you put masking tape all around. So, masking tape is very important when we are doing our projects in our cartoonage projects with fabric because you know, when we have fabric, the glue doesn't, you know, dry right away. Okay, so the masking tape, it's our, kind of our third hand, okay, it helps us a lot. Okay. And I also like to go over the masking tape and press with my claw, always. You know, that feel, I feel better, I know it's, it's, you know, very good. So I already have my holder covered sides, okay, front. And then now it's time to do that for the back.
So how is it different from here to like my desk organizer or other of my customers projects? We usually in my partner's projects in my kids, we start with thick chipboard, okay? So the piece is going to be more sturdy and um, and we can, you know, like in this situation here, we have the piece already a big piece. In the card notch, we have small pieces and you put them together, you cover separate, you put them together, okay? And then we have our piece, done. Okay, so now it's all covered outside, look at this, inside, outside, and then the only thing I need to finish is the bottom. I really, even though no one will see, let's cover because, you know, it's a better finishing. Here is important, you know, you never put your fabric over marks of glue in your scrap paper. Okay, so here is the piece I already measured and that's gonna be fitting right here. So it's just the last part. So again, as I said, the most important part is you... So one of the most important parts you spend time, you know, making sure your poster board is exactly the size you need, okay, to cover those pieces here. So that's it. It's all cover outside, all cover inside. Okay, I have one uh, last tip because if you live like that, it may depends on you know your environment. It may you know bend a little bit or up, and <laughs> so I kind of like to put like two pieces of just put the masking tape like this in the position I want to keep it you know dry. So I think that helped me. Uh, have a better uh, don't do too tight but also don't do too uh, okay so that's okay right so that's the way we're gonna be leaving for about I always like to let this you know overnight so I'm pretty sure it will be very well dry very well sturdy okay and then in the next day you just remove all the masking tape enjoy your piece that's it. I hope you liked this video. It's a fun idea, you know. I like making and I will be using them a lot, I know. So I hope you also have fun, maybe with your friends. It's always, you know, more uh, fun when we can have friends together. And make as much as you want, you know. I think the pro... I think no, I paid $4.99 for the set with two of them. So pick your favorite fabric, glue and have fun, okay? Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more projects with paper, fabric and glue, go to my uh, online school or check my channel and subscribe to my channel. Maybe you can join us in the Cardinal School. It's going to be very fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you another time. Bye bye.